All praise is all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash, Yahweh, being the name of the Father who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh meaning He exists, Bahashem meaning in the name, Yahushai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Yahushai meaning He delivers, He saves, Bahashem in the name. Rakaha Kwadash, Spirit Holy, the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwathim, listen and listen and learn in sincerity and truth and in silence. Shalom. Akyam meaning brothers, Akwathim meaning sisters. Shalom. Meaning peace be unto you. Alright, we'll get right into it. It's your brother Shema. I just wanted to uh, touch, a, touch a scripture. All right, I have one scripture that came to mind. We'll see, we'll see where the Spirit takes us. But uh, Leviticus. Chapter 26. In fact, we'll, we'll run it off of here. Leviticus chapter 26. Leviticus 26. 26. And it reads, And when I have broken the staff of your bread, Right, we see the Lord breaking these 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 food chain these food chains and the, and the price of food, man. Right, it's just gonna get, it's just gonna continue to lead to more expensive food, scarcity, right? <clears throat> the Lord's breaking the staff of your bread. Ten women shall break your bread in one oven, and they shall deliver you your bread again by weight. Right? Ten women, one oven. Right? One what? One loaf of bread to split amongst ten women, and one oven. That's gonna lead. That's food rationing. Not enough food to go around. Right? And they shall deliver you your bread again by weight rationing. And ye shall eat. And not be satisfied, right? Not be satisfied. So high prices of food, what's this going to lead to, man? Rationing, you know? It says here, price of British food staples, including cheddar cheese, porridge, oats, and white and white bread soar by up to 80%, right? So if you go to the grocery store and everything is 80% more than what it was a week ago, guess what? You're not getting as much for the money that you have. You're getting less. What else does that mean? Now you're 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 monitoring what it is you eat. You're rationing it. You have a four 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 body household, five body household. You know, a husband, a wife, and three children. Now you're watching how much cereal the children eat, how much bread. You know, use less but use less butter, less peanut butter. Right. Typically, you go through five tins of canned something uh, uh canned goods now in, in a five day period in a five day period now you're, you're you're cutting that down to to three tins in a five day period two tins in a six day period rationing by weight it says your overall inflation on food and drinks across eight major supermarkets all the as the little morrison's ocado sainsbury's tesco and weight rose, rose to 17.2% in March. But staple foods in the British diet have seen much bigger price increases, right? And listen, these things, exactly what you see going on, the pond, you're going to see take place here in America the Great, Babylon the Great, up here in Canada, right? You're going to see prices, listen, smug, 
Babylonians are not ready. It goes on to say here, the cost of British foods, the cost of British food staples, including cheddar cheese, porridge, oats, and white bread has soared in the last year, according to a new witch report. I wanted to get this scripture here in the Good News Translation. The Leviticus 26, 26. You know what I mean? Leviticus. Salakia with the with the computer speed. My uh my laptop is mangled, man. It's on its last it's on its last <laughs> breath. You know what I mean? Leviticus twenty six verse twenty six. In the in the good news translation, it reads, I will cut off your food supply so that ten women will need only one oven to bake all the bread they have. <laughs> yeah, listen. People gonna bug out out here, man. Right? It says here, so that ten women will need only one oven to bake all the bread they have. They will ration it out. And when you have eaten it all, you will still be hungry. Right? Ten women with one oven to bake all the bread they have, right? Because there's not enough bread to go around for 10 people, for 10 women. So they're all going to be huddled around one oven, right? And even when that's all said and done, you're going to still be hungry. This is how the Lord's visiting this place. It says here, overall inflation of food and drinks across eight major supermarkets. Aldi, Asda, Levy, Morrison's, Ocado, Sainsbury, Tesco, and wait, well, I read this already. Goes on to say, this marks a rise from 16.5% the previous month. But staple foods and British diets will have seen much bigger price, have seen much bigger price increases. The price of porridge oats increased by 35.5%. Right, porridge and oats. You know what I mean? There's a scripture, there's a scripture in uh, Sirach. Things for all men. For all men, it's flour, oil, the grape, honey, water. Let's get it. I don't want to butcher it. All right? These are things. These are staples. Men, mankind needs these things. Right? Food and water, shelter. Right? It's rock thirty-nine. It's around the uh, twenty-eight, twenty-seven. 26 verse. Sirach 39 verse 26. And it reads, The principal things for the whole use of man's life. Right? The principal things. For the whole use of a man's life, principal meanings, uh, principal meaning chiefly or, or or first, things for the whole use of man's life are water. You need water, man. Right? Our bodies are seventy-five percent water, man. Right? We have a membrane of water and uh, 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 around all our cells, in our skull, around our brains. Right? In our organs, right? You can't go as long without water as you can without food, right? Fire, iron, and salt. Fire for heat, cooking, iron, building. Right? Iron is a, 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 a an element, right? And salt, flour of wheat, right, food, honey, honey comes from the bees, milk and the blood of the grape, wine, and oil and clothing, right, we, you need those things to survive, man.
But the two major ones, water. Right? Flour of wheat. Food and water, man. Right? It goes on to say here, Meanwhile, pork sausages saw an average price increase of 26.8%, while the average inflation of the price of white potatoes was 14%. White bread also rose by an average of 22.8%. Right, a measure of wheat for a penny. Right, that's inflation. Revelation chapter 6. Right, on the 4th or 5th verse. A measure of wheat for a penny. As a matter of fact, let's go to it. Right? Inflation. Right? Revelation 6, verse 5. And it reads, and When he had opened the third seal, right? This is a vision of John the Revelator. Seeing an angel open the third seal. The third seal is symbolic of famine. I heard the third bee say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. This black horse is symbolic of bad times. Alright, we're going into the time of Jacob's trouble. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. The balance is a symbolic of judgment. So we're, we're, we're entering into famine and bad times. And a lot of judgment is about to go forth. Especially on two-thirds of our people. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny. A measure of wheat. Right, looking at this word measure. A measure of wheat. It's Koinix, right? Strong G5518. Koinix. Right, a Koinix, a dry measure containing four codile or, or two satari. Less than a quart or one liter, right? So it's a measurement. Less than a quart or one liter, right? Of wheat for a penny, denarion. Strong's G1220. Denarion was a Roman's uh, wage. A ro denarius equaling, c containing 10. A Roman silver coin in New Testament time. It took, it took its name from, from it being equal to 10 asses. A number after 217, B, 217 BC increased to 16, about 3.898 grams, or 1,375 ounces. It was the principal silver coin of the Roman Empire. From the parallel of the laborers in the vineyard, it would seem that a denarius was then the ordinary pay for a day's wage. Right. A day's wage. So, a measure of wheat for a penny right the equivalent of a quart or less than a liter or less than a quart of wheat for a day's wage that's hyperinflation right and three measures of barley for a penny and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine the oil and the wine is 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 this truth and who has this truth the elect Right? Scriptures say, my servant shall eat. Right? People are going to be starving out here. Bugging out. Violence. A man not having pity because of, because of the lack of bread and great tribulation. Roughly paraphrasing. Right? We'll get that, Lord willing. Second Ezra chapter 15. Right? This is just the tip of the iceberg. I read. I read. I got. Uh, I got a news alert today. Up here in uh, Canada, uh, gas is going up ten cents overnight, and they're saying that's just the beginning. Why right, everything's going up, man? But individual supermarkets introduce price hikes of up to eighty percent on these staple items. As is. As does Dragon Welsh mature cheddar, 180 grams increased from one pound in the three months to the end of March last year to $1.80 to 1.80 pounds across the same period this year, an 80% increase. 
Meanwhile, the bakery at As the Soft White Medium Sliced Bread, 800 grams, increased by 67% from 56 pounds to 94 pounds. Right? That's enough on that. That's enough on that. Right here. Sue Davies, which head of food policy, said, Our latest supermarket food and drink tracker paints a bleak picture for the millions of households already skipping meals of how inflation is impacting prices on supermarket shelves, with the poorest once again feeling the brunt of the cost of living crisis. Right? The Lord Yahweh Shimon Shai is breaking the staff of bread. Right? And the poor are going to feel it first. Isaiah 8, verse 21. So lock you once again on this computer. Isaiah 8, verse 21. And it reads, as a matter of fact, I want, to, I want to check this out in the uh, in the Good News translation. And it reads, and they shall pass through it hardly bestead and hungry. And it shall come to pass that when they shall be hungry, they shall fret themselves and curse their king and their power and look upward. And they shall look unto all the earth and behold trouble and darkness, dimness of anguish, and they shall be driven to darkness. Right, a time of trouble, man. Right? I remember reading this in the uh, in the uh, Good News Translation. Isaiah 8. They shall be hungry. Isaiah 8 verse 21 in the Good News Translation. The people will wander through the land discouraged and hungry. In their hunger and their anger they will curse their king and their power. They may look up to the sky or stare at the ground but they will see nothing but trouble and darkness terrifying darkness into which they are being driven. Right. The, the times that are coming, man, listen, it's going to be bleak, discouraging, full of despair, and your ribs going to be touching. Your stomach's going to be shrinking. Your body's going to be eating itself. Right? Starvation is a terrible way to go. It says in Lamentation 4 verse 9, uh, it is better to die by the sword than to be stricken with hunger, roughly paraphrasing. These pine away for the want of the fruits of, of the of the field. Let's get it. I don't want to I probably butchered it. Lamentations four verse nine. And it reads They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger, right? It's better to die a death by violence. By the sword, the sword being a killing instrument, than to starve to this. For these pine away stricken through for want of the fruits of the field, right? Your body is a slow breakdown of your body. Your, your muscles start to eat itself. Right? Your brain shuts down. You, you start to hallucinate. You start to have you, you start to turn you, you start to turn mad, desperate. That's gonna lead to cannibalism, man. Verse 10, the hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children. Right, and this is during the siege. Right? The Israelite woman, right, sodden their own children. Sodden meaning to boil. They boil their own kids, man. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. Right? And these things are gonna cause these the scriptures say, uh, uh 
Uh, no new thing under the sun. Right? Right? Daniel 12 says, uh, Michael the Archangel. Let me get that. Right? This is talking about the time of Jacob's trouble. Daniel 12 verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. Right? The title here is the time of the end. Daniel 12 verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. Right? Michael the Archangel. The great prince which standest for the children of thy people, the children of thy people, whose people? The Mosai al Bashimel Shai, his people, who are Israelites, Israel being a people before a place, beginning with the elect. Got two thirds are going to suffer horrific deaths out here, man. And there shall be a time of trouble, right? This is what this this is what we're entering into. All these warning signs, the the gradualism, the slow breakdown of America the Great, Babylon the Great, as we know it, right? This is the beginning of that time of trouble. Jacob's trouble. Such as never was since there was a nation, right? This time that we're going into is going to trump 70 AD. It's going to trump the cargo slave ships. It's going to trump the Trail of Tears. It's going to trump smallpox on the northern kingdom. Such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Right? And that's going to be spiritual intervention. Right? Michael and the angels are going to have to intervene. Right? That's how bad it's going to get out here, man. Let's close. Second is just 15. Second is just 15. Verse 19, and it reads, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Right? People who know each other ain't going to have pity on one another. But shall destroy their houses with the sword. The sword is a killing instrument. People are going to be ravaging, home invading, and spoil their goods. <clears throat> spoil meaning to rob, take. Because of the lack of bread, right? No food. And for great tribulation, right? A time of trouble. Never before seen on the earth. So with that, stay prayed up. Prayed without ceasing. Shalom to the hopeful elect.